Yo, what's up movie people? I hope you're doing well. We got our first reactions to Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Yep, it's pretty early, but these reactions are really positive. I got like eight or nine to go over, so let's get right into them. All right, so our first reaction comes from Scott Manns. He says, finally here and worth the wait. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning is absolutely fantastic and the best mission yet. Great story, awesome cast, incredible action that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Tom Cruise has topped himself with the best action movie of the summer. All right, uh, first reaction is fantastic. Uh, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 is... It's faced an uphill battle going going against uh, John Wick 4 for the best uh, action movie of the year, but it looks like it might take it. But it's also facing a battle to be if it will be better than Mission Impossible Fallout, which we'll see. You know, Mission Impossible Fallout is my favorite action movie. So if this tops it, oh man, we're in for a treat. Uh, Perry Nimroff says Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning is another winner for the franchise. Yet again, the production value is through the roof with some of the most well-defined and exhilarating set pieces photographed in ways that truly make you feel like you're in the middle of the action. The emphasis on capturing things in camera makes a huge difference and you can feel it. Also, really dug the mission this time and around and how the technology they're after factors into the characters' individual arcs. And then we got some more for her. Tom Cruise is A+, plus as always, and Rebecca Ferguson continues to be a favorite. But franchise newcomer Haley Atwell wound up being the major standout for me. She can do it all. Action, comedy, a capable hero in many respects while trying to get her sea legs and others. Uh, she's got a scene with Tom Holland with the Fiat 500 and two hours and 43 minutes that I happily watch over and over. All right, so we first we got our first kind of reaction to Haley Atwell's character. And she stands, she is looking like the big standout of this movie, the MVP. Tom Cruise is always the best A plus because, you know, he's Tom Cruise. He had, he brought the box off his back with Top Gun Maverick last year, and he's going to bring it back again with this movie. But of course, the box office is already kind of back with Mario, but I feel like he might have the second uh, billion dollar movie of the year. We'll see. Another reaction uh, Mission Possible is a fantastic, dynamite, timely story, excellent new characters. Huge variety of action and a final set piece that ranks top two or three all time for the franchise. It gets a little dense at times, but its pace and intensity more than cover that. All right, so we have our little not so fantastic reaction, but still great. You know, just says it's a little dense, but you know that kind of factors into a Mission Possible movie because sometimes talking scenes get a little dense. But you know, I don't care. I'm here for the talking scenes. I loved all. I love all the explanation scenes in these movies because the actors really sell them. Tom Cruise does a great job with his emotion and his acting ability in these movies. So I'm all here for that denseness of the story. Another one, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning is phenomenal. Haley Atwell steals every scene she's in. This is not my favorite Mission Impossible film with the AI being the villain. This feels like a, a cautionary tale. The action had my heart rate elevated. The train scene is mind blowing. All right, so we kind of have our first look at the villain, which is kind of going to be an AI being the villain, which is pretty interesting, but I'm not really going to speak about that until I see the whole movie because there's probably a lot of context over that being the villain and over the scene that it's in, so I'm not going to speak on that, but it's kind of interesting. But another great reaction to Haley Atwell being uh, the standout of this movie. Another one from Mike, he says, Mission Possible Dead Reckoning Part 1 works as Christopher McQuarrie's ambitious examination of meditation on AI and the dangerous path we might be on. Another one about the AI, which is pretty interesting. And he talks about Kitridge being back, which is cool. So that is very awesome. I love that. Steven Weintraub from Collider, one of my favorites. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning is incredible. The fastest two-hour, 30-minute movie I've seen in a long time. One of the best films I've seen this year. Tom Cruise has done, done it again. Demands to be seen on the biggest screen Cannot recommend this movie enough. And another one, big surprise, how much I loved Hayley Atwell in the movie. I've always been a fan, but she's fantastic addition in the franchise and a huge part of this movie. All right, another one, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning is the best movie of the year. Tom Cruise done it again, jaw-dropping action, high stakes, and a pulse-pounding third act that'll have you on the edge of your seat. Tom Cruise is better than ever, and Hayley Atwell is incredible. All right, this guy says it's the best movie of the year, which just gets me even more pumped than I could ever be. And man, I just cannot wait for this movie. Uh, he has some other tweets. We'll look at this one. Uh, it's an action movie perfection. So many stand-up moments and performances. The motorcycle stunt is, and everything that happens on the train is outstanding. So many great fights in Vienna, and that car chase is next level awesome. All right, some, re some reactions to that uh, motorcycle jump. I cannot wait to see that. Our last one will be from Brandon Davis. Mission Possible Dead Reckoning Part 1 
is phenomenal on the action front, especially in the first hour. Haley Atwell steals every scene. The villain, cliffhanger, and the runtime didn't blow me away, but the rest is wildly entertaining and brilliantly filmed. It's solid. All right, so another uh, solid reaction, not fantastic, but overall, uh, the reactions are fantastic for this movie. Kind of reminds me of Spider-Verse reactions, so this will probably be the biggest summer movie we've had so far, and it might make a billion. It depends. A general audience is going to check this out. I think they are, but these reactions get me so pumped. Tom Cruise is a standout. Haley Atwell is one of the biggest standouts of this. And uh, we're getting our first looks at what the villain will be. Uh, we're getting reactions saying that this is a short movie and it goes by really fast. So I cannot wait. This movie is coming out so soon. I'm seeing it a couple days early. So I'll get my review out a couple days early. But what did you guys think of the reactions for this movie? And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.